Hey there guys, I am Alex the Wiser Owl on the Prodigy Ambassador team and today I'm going to give you a quick look at the BP3 V3, how to put it together and sort of talk a little bit about what I've noticed has changed since the original BP3. All right, so I've got a brand new BP3 B3 still in the bag with the tags on. So first thing that I've noticed has changed that desperately needed to change was the fabric on it. The original BP3 I think was a pretty bad bag if we're being honest. Um, I didn't like the material that it was made out of and I especially didn't like how the zippers were done. So I've noticed that the new bag material is our water resistant ripstop nylon, which I think is a huge upgrade. And the biggest thing that I've noticed is that the zippers have sort of the same rubber coating that you were seeing on our higher end bags. The original BP3, the zippers always frayed and ripped on those really within a couple weeks of using them. So I'm really glad to see that was upgraded. So much like the original version of this bag, there's really not a whole lot of, you know, install work you need to do to set this bag up. When you open it up, you're going to see this little thing in a bag. This is going to be your divider. Now this divider has gotten almost every single view on my BP4 video is people haven't been able to figure out how to put these together. So to put this together, you're going to want to hold it so the Velcro is horizontal. You're going to grab your little divider. You see how there's this little triangle cut out here? That's what's going to go on the fold. So you're going to stick your top down, bottom like so. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And that's going to start giving you the structure of the divider. All you need to do is take that second one, pop it in the exact same place. Boom. So when you hold it up, it's gonna look like that. Then, you're just gonna slide that sucker into the bag. And you're set to go. So much like the original BP3, the pockets on the side are rather modest. They're not super big, but they are definitely big enough to fit something like your phone and your keys. Just slide in real nice. Again, the side zippers have that same rubber coating on them, so this zipper shouldn't pop the way that it used to pop and break on the original BP3. So when it comes to carrying capacity, as you can see here, I have my tournament bag, my BP1V3 here, that carries everything that I could ever want in it. So I'm gonna see if I can transfer everything in my bag over. So here we go. And there we go. Every single disc for my tournament bag in my BP1B3, which is massive, fits in my BP3. Of course, the BP1 has got the two water bottle holders, which will also work on the BP3 with the exact same 32 ounce water bottles. I even got this really big one right here that'll fit in nice and easy. Both of the water bottle holders have the drawstring to you know, make it a little bit tighter if you're just using a small bottle of water. And unlike the BP-1V3, these are not insulated. So this is just, you know, the same material with no insulation on it. So the back of the bag, the straps are the almost exact same as the ones on the BP-1V3 with the exception of there's no handle on the straps themselves. That is on the bag on the top. Um, it's got the same clasps. It's got your shoulder blade pad, your lower back pad that are actually pretty thick for such a, a sort of baseline bag. So I think it's gonna be pretty comfortable to, to wear and walk around with. So after putting this together and sort of just looking at it through the filming of this video, I don't think I would recommend this bag as your main tournament bag. However, with 
the size difference between it and the BP-1. I would say if you're looking for a bag for storage of your backups or a trunk bag that you can just keep in your car, I think that this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good value bag. Um, it's definitely made a lot of improvements over the original BP-3 from what I can see. I'm gonna give it about 10 to 15 rounds of practice just to see what it's like. Um, I'm gonna do some casual rounds with it and see where we go from there. So I probably won't make a follow-up video about it, but I will definitely put something as a quick like Instagram um, video together on sort of how the bag's age and how I felt about it after. So you can be checking that out over at Wiser Owl. So if you've liked this video, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you're interested in picking up one of these bags, you can check them out at shop.prodigydisc.